Hello friends, thank you so much for joining me. If you watched my previous video called Guess That Processor, the, an the answer is Intel Q9300. That thing overclocked insanely using this very same heat sink. This is Arctic Cooler heat sink. It was amazing, I had a blast with it. But right now we take a closer look at the front panel connections to your motherboard. So starting from left to right, you can see that this is a front panel for audio connection. It might be slightly, slightly different for your motherboard, but the gist of it will be the same. It st should still be a label. This is the auxiliary fan, so if you have an extra fan you want to plug in, you can certainly do so right here. So if you have an extra system fan or a, in your case or somewhere, you can certainly just plug it in. And like I said, it'll be slightly, it might be slightly different for your motherboard, but uh, you know, it, it, the gist of it is the same. So here's a front panel USB one. You can see it's clearly labeled front panel USB 2, USB 3. And sometimes there'll be, uh, you know, it d depends on the jacks. Sometimes there'll be, it'll be like multiple ones connected more than uh, it's connected to the same jack. So, but the gist of it will be the same. You have front panel USB 1, 2, and 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, and this one. And here are the front panel connectors, right? Uh, luckily on this, on this motherboard itself, and I'll move it over so you guys can see better. Um, it's clearly labeled which front panel um, connectors go where. Um, it may not be so; it may not be the case in your motherboard, but your manual will have the exact instructions where you can plug it in. So as long as either or, as long as your I guess front panel has a labels on it, and it should be, it will be shocking if it didn't. But here we are with the power connectors. See, this is. Uh, this is how it should look like. It should be clearly labeled and I'll show you which side goes where, right? So if you look at the motherboard itself, you see how, for example, hard drive LED, which is the first thing we'll connect here, is forward. It's, so it's it's in this in this case, it's a bluish or aqua color right there. And you can see where the label says it's towards you. So this is the one we're gonna plug it in here, okay? So there, that's the hard drive LED, very simple. So you got to make sure you kind of follow the chart there. And like I said, if it doesn't have the chart there, if it's not labeled clearly on your motherboard, look at your manual and that way you will know exactly which one goes where. Um, and then here's a power LED and see how it's labeled there, power LED. You want to plug it in. It's going to go in the back one now. You see that? And it does have plus and a minus, but when it comes to LEDs, um, I'm fairly certain it doesn't matter because it's just a light. It's an LED light. It just flashes back and forth. You know? Make sure it's properly connected like so and moving on to the next one uh, just bear with me as i uh, kind of <laughs> sew through the connectors i actually have them separate even switches so that way i can uh, when i do testing i just have actual switch it's not even a connected to the um and so anyways here's a reset uh, switch you can see it's right there reset a uh, button and it's going to go right there so we're just going to put it where the green green connector is it's fairly self-explanatory but i really wanted to make a video like this because it can be confusing like it, it, at least for me long long time ago when i first started building computers this was the hardest part honestly just figuring out which which cable goes where which plug goes where that was like the hardest thing you know so here's a power switch and you can see it's clearly labeled right there so it's going to go into that pink one right so we're just going to go ahead and plug it in there you know you don't have to force nothing it should go in fairly easy just like that and then the last one we have to uh, plug in after this is our speaker so our post speaker let me just uh, kind of get to that and then so here's our speaker. This is makes our post makes our beep sounds in case you're brand new to computers. It goes beep, you know, or if something's wrong, it will make the video. And you can see here it's clearly labeled, and that's your speaker right there. Okay, so sometimes you'll have a little little front speaker on your front panel um, installed, and that's where that would go. This one is just kind of a standalone speaker that just makes the beep sounds. So yeah there you have it guys please let me know if you like this video please go to facebook.com forward slash and uh, like my page bye bye